Put them into plastic. Put them all in. It's so hard. It's so difficult to pull this out. Just not. I'm not going to start with this. Oh, goodness me. We're going to have to do little bits in a time. Look at that. All of that is plastic. Mixed with all the fermentation juices and the stomach, the plastic had melded together in huge clumps, and it was a mission to put it out. So much plastic. Totally full. And it's a real job just to get this stuff out because it seems to be all stuck to the inside of the stomach. With perseverance, I finally got beneath a big, massive knot, and from there, it just kept coming and coming. It was far more than I expected, and must have been building up for months. Look at this. All of this here. All of plastic. All. Plastic. All that yellow. Just, just plastic. Amazing. And that's just a tiny part of what we're going to get out of that. I've never seen anything like this. It's it's astounding. This poor animal. Choking all plastic. I think it speaks for itself. I'm getting my hand completely inside the cow's stomach because I want to make sure I get every single bit of knotted plastic out. If you're going to do a job, we've got to do it properly. No matter how disgusting. Now, cow's stomach, they depend on bacteria at a certain pH in order to work. So, if I take all the contents out, the cow will go into shock and the stomach won't contract and work properly. Not that it's working very well at the moment for the plastic. But the idea is that I'm going to wring this out and keep these important juices and these bacteria, and I'm actually going to put them back into the cow to kickstart digestion. These juices have to go 